Now, Richard, you want to replace your shield belt as well? So the current good one is 132 shield, and this new one is 154. That's pretty sweet. I wonder who we want to give the other shield belt to. We give it to one of the kids. Maybe Diggy, as the youngest, can have the shield belt for now. Then he can drop it if we need him to shoot. <laughs> I like that you can have shield belts for the kids. That's pretty cool. <laughs> look, at it's quite large on him. It makes it look like he's got a big old badonk donk. Check it. <laughs> Damn, look at that big rock butt. Look at that rock booty. Oh my god. And also we can, yeah, we can use him to, uh, as bait in combat. <laughs> I can use him as bait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need to get that other, we need to get that lug, lung and leg made for Blurbo. I mean, technically he can still research just as fast. I'm pretty sure, just by having fifty percent breathing and forty percent moving, he can't really go too far. But it's gonna be one slow walk that he's going on right now. But we'll see about uh, oh, she's sh shredding mechanoids first. Right, shred mechanoid needs to be at like the bottom. So, I also now can do some other cool stuff since I got some vanilla expanded things. I should be able to make pickaxes. No, where's pickaxes? <gasps> where, where do you get pickaxes then? Uh, pickaxe. Where the hell is the pickaxe? Literally unplayable. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> some of the tools are no longer in this mod, pickaxe. Yeah, okay, right. I'm not the only one having problems. Where's my goddamn pickaxe? <laughs> I beg of you, mate. There must be some uh, issue with the this uh, this vanilla expanded, weapons expanded, getting ported over to uh, biotech. There must be some issue with the tools. So it looks like some tools have been lost. So hopefully they get re-added because I was going to make some pickaxes, but there's no pickaxes. Rawr! I can make hammers. Hammers um, increase construction speed and labor speed and construct success chance. So we can make some hammers at least. That's still pretty dwarf. Some dwarven hammers. I don't know if I want to make it out of... Oh, I can make them out of stone block. What does a granite hammer look like? 4.819 compared to uranium. 8.528. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Looks like uh, steel is overall better than a stone one. People really pick that mod for the pickaxes. True, absolutely. I don't, know why, I don't know why I did. That was specifically the reason I went and got it. I need my dwarven miners to have some pickaxes. <laughs> Digsy's attempting to recruit the uh, prisoner. Medium has an inspired trade. Medium's a baby. <laughs> I'm surprised he can even trade. All right, sure. I'll give him an opportunity to do some trading at some point. Bulk traders arrived. <gasps> Bulk traders arrived. Oh, in your game. <laughs> you, why are you doing this to me on your game? You meant in your game, you can sell your chickens. Okay, congratulations. You got me excited. Why are you going to do this? Damn. We got baited. I got baited. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Kids are all doing some learning. Manhunter pack of huskies. and Manhunting huskies have entered the area, driven insane by the disease known as Scaria. No! Huskies. Oh god, there's so many of them. Oh god. Okay. Um, do we want to fight 17 Huskies? That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. Can you kill them? Scaria is incurable, sadly. So the Huskies are all going to die. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. <laughs> and there's some components. We'll get those later. Oh god, medium's out here. Oh my god. Shit. Um, Sorobria, turn that on. <laughs> of course the kid's out there. <laughs> the kids are always out there when an animals attack. <laughs> ah! The kids are always out there when animals attack. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it was the pregnant mother before, and now the child's. Oh my god, his foot immediately got bitten off. No, medium, no! Holy shit. Will they keep attacking him? I don't think they'll keep attacking him. Well, that's not good at all. Richard, you're gonna have to come try and grab him. 
We have to clear out these huskies as quickly as we can here. Poor little medium. Oh god. Oh god. He's definitely one of us now. He's lost a foot. <laughs> Oh shit. Don't get stuck in the doors. Oh god, it held the door open. It held the door open. They're gonna attack our turrets too. Oh no, it held the door open. <laughs> Freaking... Husky went down in the door. Oh god. Come over here. They blur though. We might need you to come over too, mate. Hmm. I think we maybe get you up and try and get you to start hauling medium back, maybe? gonna be very bad. Pull you back a bit. As you melee. <laughs> That's a good eye. I'm gonna use a psychic and send me lance here. I don't think it worked. Damn. Do they not work on animals? So many of them. I think here we go. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I think light ray is probably going to go down there. We probably, the less people that go down, the better. So let's pull Strawberry around. Sorry, light wraith, mate. It's not ideal, I know. Let's see if we can draw some of them over. You guys should be on escort. Come over here. You guys on escort as well. Let's get all the robots over. Gotta stop and think for a second here. Maybe I should have pulled Richard out here so that the turrets could help too. Hopefully Richard's gonna carve through some huskies here. And Diggy's gonna come over and start shooting. No, oh, you've got the shield belt on. Drop that shield belt. Oops. Oh, Richard's down. Ah, shit. And because Richard's down, we can't control the robots. Wait, if, if Bob's block, if Mr. Constructoid's blocking the door, we might be able to start lighting him up here. Here we go, where are you at? Okay, the robots are fighting. We're not spiraling. We'll make it through this. It's just gonna be very messy. <laughs> very, very messy. <laughs> Good job, Diggsy. Diggsy's level six in shooting. No child should be level six in shooting. <laughs> That's so much combat. <laughs> oh God. I should've got the robots there sooner. This was very poorly handled. Here we go, it's tending medium. Diggy's had his first combat experience, pretty much. Oh, Farmer McFarmbot is holding the door for us. Uh, Diggsy, you can do medical, can't you? Can you tend Richard? I 
Okay. You finish off that husky. Blurbo. Sorobria, how are you looking? Okay, you 10 Light Wraith. Blurbo, you come to kill this husky for us. Nice. Now I'm out here as well. Yes, because that's what we need. Well, we need a mad rabbit right now. Perfect. Blurbo, you come over. Oh my god, please. Medium's back up on his feet. <laughs> Medium, grab the pistol. Shoot the rabbit. Okay, the rabbit's dead. Good, 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 good. Okay, you go, you go. How are you? 12 hours. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Not so good. Yeah, so that was a bit of a mess. Nice red paint in the hallway. <laughs> yeah, we painted the hallway all right. Oh god. Quest available. Lost nomads. Is now the time. Okay. Let's get uh, Kiwi Garland attending Richard now. All right, in the meantime, <laughs> why don't we triage this lot? <laughs> oh God. In the meantime, um, Lost Nomads, seven desperate refugees, including a child, are approaching. Their leader is called Stumpy. They claim to have escaped an organ harvesting operation. Stumpy begs you for permission to stay at crack in a crack for seven days and rest and regroup. They offer to fight and work for free during that time. They may join you, but they may betray you. Oh, damn. Okay, we're going to accept, but we're going to have them immediately start building visitors hall. Welcome, new visitors. I'm just going to name these after random people in chat right now. Here's what we're going to do. We got, we got, we got Rampaging Runner, Euro Loki. We got a psychopath named Bootcut, Needing Knots, who is a... Uh, yeah, a person. <laughs> we haven't built the guest's house yet. Callum? And this is Callum. But we're gonna try and... Artistic skills. An artist. There is a little baby <laughs> named Bogdan Bean. <laughs> what a name! <laughs> Staggeringly ugly gourmet <laughs> Bogdan Bean. <laughs> I feel like I have to leave their name as Bogdan Bean. Okay, we're gonna move some beds out here. And this can be uh, a guest house for the moment, I think. Just so it's at least not inside our base. But I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to make like a dedicated like guest uh, area where they can do work and live and sleep and eat and everything. Put it over here and hopefully keep them out of trouble. <laughs> hopefully keep them out of trouble. So, but for now we'll just move those beds over there. Medium needs rescue. <laughs> oh. Medium's missing a foot, man. He's missing a foot. <laughs> I have to make him a prosthetic foot. Poor little kid got his foot bitten off. Pretty rough, eh, mate? Pretty rough. I hope these ones are gonna be good. Okay, you come out here and drop your uh, hatchet. You're allowed to have weapons inside the base, okay? There'll be no hatcheting. There'll be no axe murdering in my base, please. <laughs> okay. We didn't lose anyone, though. We lost a foot? on a child, which is pretty rough, but we didn't lose anyone. That husky going, that husky invasion going so badly is pretty rough though. Prosthetic leg has been made. How long does it take to make a foot? Hopefully, oh, wow, quite a while apparently. You have an infection on Richard. That's not ideal. Let's go attend to you. Ten quality 50 is pretty good. And you're missing a two. That's not too bad. Standard mech tech has been completed. Yo, very cool. Standard mech tech. Mm, let's we'll have, have a look at what that gives us. Option, what options that give us. There's the uh, mech commander helmet here, which gives six extra mech bandwidth and is a helmet. Whoa. Plus steel weave combat helmet designed for battle mechanators. That seems like the first thing I might actually want to make. I thought those turrets would do more work. Are they low tier or something? These are the little baby turrets. The first, little literal first turrets you can build. Yeah. They're like little auto pistols. They're pretty good long, pretty good range though. Yeah. Yeah. Th that's why we have switches though, is because animal, uh, like big swarms of animals are kind of like 
Turret's not so useful against them. I mean, you can you can soften them up a little bit, but uh, the animals just start attacking the turrets and blow them up in melee. All right, strap your new foot on, mate. There you go, medium. We'll get you back up to speed, mate. Kind of. There you go, prosthetic foot, matey. Eighty percent efficiency. Uh, his poor little foot bitten off. If only I had child-sized boots, I might have been able to save it. No <laughs> any child boots. Good to see the uh, new joiners put in some work, though. The boot cut has a gas mask on. Hmm. Interesting. You better not be planning on like throwing any tox grenades around or anything, eh? Better not. Better not. All right. So. The other one is Blurbo. Needs to get both of his operations done as well. Hospital's a little full right now though. So we might wait a smidge. Subscore soft scanner. Pod with thousands of tiny tissue probes and high energy brain scanner. Once a person is inserted, the system uses the probes and scanner to sense a neuropsychic pattern that it can analog transfer to a new standard tier mechanoid subcore. The person will be left temporarily sick but unharmed. Subcores are mechanoid brains and producing any mechanoid requires one. Standard tier subcores produced by this soft scanner can only power standard tier max. Ah, oh, so you need to actually like scan someone's brain to make a like a medium tier um subcore for bigger robots. I see. It's in here. One signal chip, 60 plasteel, and six components. So that's that signal chip, is it? Oh yeah, well that's what I can use that for now. Here we are, I was made a masterwork wooden bed. Nice. A poker. An engraving on this furniture resembles an enormous rock trailing purple flames falling to the ground in a cloud of ash. Oh, good heavens. Oh my god. Here we go, looks on in surprise. The image contrasts fever with happiness. The depiction relates to a meteorite falling near Kiwi Girl's town on the 10th of April, May, 5502. Oh my god, it's Drakenheim. Big purple meteor crashing into the city. Gonna be more the machine than man soon. Blurbo. It's already got a light receptor eye. And now has a prosthetic leg. Oh wait, no, I was looking at the wrong person. <laughs> Sorobrier is the one with the eye. Now Sorobrier is going to operate on Blurbo after having a beer. Perfect. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and Dunsky's surrogate lung. Excellent. It's uh, not full efficiency, but certainly better than missing them entirely. So you'll be out for a day recovering from that surgery. Gotta have a beer to steady the hands. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe so. Boot cuts chopping up the huskies. God damn. <laughs> Gotta clean up, eh? Gotta clean up. I haven't decided who I want to give the jump jet jump pack to. They can be really helpful once you get like a strong melee fighter. But I think they do, uh, I don't know if you can wear them with the shield belts. Let me see. If I put that on, do we lose our shield belt? Yeah. So most of the time the shield belt's gonna be a little more helpful, but the jump pack can be really good for, it can also be good for on a shooter too, just for them to get around a bit. Like, we like having Kiwi Girl in good positions. Or Srobu as a sniper could really benefit as well, actually. Especially because she's a slow poke, so the jump pack being on her would actually be quite nice. So let's put her, put the jump pack on her. And then she can jump into a good sniping position as needed. Medium has broken down and wandering around confused because of his anesthetic. <laughs> he's anesthetic, okay. I mean, yeah. The little kid woke up and he's under the effects of anesthesia still. And he's like, what is going on? Hey, 10 ton blue calmed him down. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I think giving the jump jack to the sniper, then they can like... Jump in, pop some shots, jump out. I like that. It does sound like a good plan. Look at all that steel. My lord, that's what I'm talking about. Hopefully we can get those components in soon. Those should be next. Mm -hmm. Well, food has been real good for quite a while now, which I like to see. The only problem has been cooking bottlenecks, but now we have uh, more people who can cook. Also, what are you wearing? Just, uh, just an apron. Oh, I see. I mean, I was thinking that was what it might have been. I wasn't sure. Just an apron. <laughs> Woo! Oh my, exactly what it looks like. The naked apron. Oh my, 
Okay, the naked apron. Good heavens. That is, that is something right there. <laughs> How goes your infection? Immunity developed. That's good. That's good. Rampaging is trying to convert Kiwi Girl. Kiwi Girl reached level 4 in melee. <laughs> no, how dare you? How dare you? Hmm. Shit. There's gonna be a lot of wins. Oh, thankfully they stopped without going for too long. Ugh. Nastily, bru nastily bruised torso. Damn. Recruitment attempts are going to begin on 10 ton blue, so he'll be basically recruited by tomorrow then. Now that means... Darklight has been recruited! <gasps> we have to name them! Darklight, having joined the colony, is now going to be named after Spectral Knight. Welcome to the colony, Spectral Knight, Nighthawk! Oh, kind of perfect. <laughs> very cool, very cool. <laughs> now, most crucially... Romance Kiwi Girl, 100% chance. Yes! Here we go! Here we go! She's even in the hospital at the moment, recovering from the social fight. And then Spectral Knight got recruited. Comes into the hospital like a like a white-haired angel. A white-bearded angel. Comes into the hospital room and says, Thara, thara, Kiwi Girl. She's gonna be okay. And then they just like, Yo, I'm so on board. And then he just walks away. <laughs> And then he just turns around, he does a 360 and walks away. <laughs> New lovers! Spectral Knight pursued Kiwi Girl by joking about beautiful people. <laughs> that seems a bit insensitive, honestly. <laughs> Kiwi Girl was attracted and is now Spectral Knight's lover. That's that's pretty accurate though. Whenever, like, when, when someone really likes someone, it doesn't really matter what they say, does it? The joke could be pretty awful, but they're still gonna laugh. You're still gonna laugh, right? Spectral Knight and Kiwi Girl now want to sleep together. Consider assigning them a double bed. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. instinctively seeking a mate, Spectral Light has formed a psychically bonded romantic relationship with Kiwi Girl. Kiwi Girl will benefit psychologically from the connection to Spectral Knight, but if they're separated onto different world tiles, both will suffer from the psychic stress. If one dies, the other will be driven to madness. Good heavens! All right, we don't want that to happen. Ideally. <laughs> Opinion of my lover. Spe Psychic bond, a 12 bonus. Ooh, hoo, hoo, the bond brings us together, sharing feeling, feelings and thoughts. It's like a friend who is always with me. <laughs> psychic bond, yeah. Damn, okay. Yeah, so the psychic bonding thing, if you're wondering what's going on here. Uh, Spectral Knight is a high mate, which is a genetically engineered lover. <laughs> Literally like a genetically engineered courtesan. <laughs> Uh, so they're very size sensitive, they have psychic bonding as a unique trait, which makes romance attempts always succeed, and they psychically bond with their partner. Uh, they're, they're naturally happy, due to, so they're sanguine, so they're unlikely to have mental breaks as a result. Um, you can build, give one construction skill. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's set up their, let's set up their orders. So they're actually quite a good doctor. Um, excellent at childcare and uh wardening so primary that's going to be their primary role now um they actually can handle so we can have them on animals too and they could learn to cook it would be nice to have another cook we're not going to have them on construction and then research if nothing else so full-time doctor carer and researcher potentially could work out quite well here so we'll try and develop all of those skills that they have passions in Jogger, jealous, beautiful, kind, delicate. I think the jealous trait won't be an issue because uh, their bedroom is naturally, naturally going to be best because they live in Queen Kiwi Gal's bedroom. It's like, the queen under the mountain, Kiwi Gal, finally has a lover. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. Sometimes having a really good non-combat pawn can actually be pretty worthwhile. Great. A growth moment for medium. Oh, medium. Did you reach the maximum? I don't know if medium reached the maximum. Hold on, I can check it in a second. They did reach growth tier 8. They actually got there. Three passions from six options, one trait from six options. Oh! <laughs> Alright, medium maxed out their learning. That's pretty exciting. Diggs medium Norbria has reached the biological age of 7 and has experienced a growth moment. Old enough to do all of the following work. You can gain three skills to gain a passion in. So... And trait, tra let's have a look at the traits first. 
Nimble, melee jo dodge chance and trap spin chance. That's very strong if you want to make them a melee fighter. Misogynist, probably not. Gourmand, um, only if we wanted to make them a cook, probably not. Pyromaniac, no. <laughs> Depressive, no. Delicate. Okay, looks like nimble it is. <laughs> is there melee an option in here? Sadly, no melee option. In which case, let's give him a passion in shooting. Yeah, we got some pretty bad traits. That's why you want to like get the learning levels up, because imagine if we only had the option of these like few, right? So by getting as many options as possible, we, we, we at least got one good one. Yeah, I think another medical. Doesn't hurt. Maybe cooking. Can they cook now? They can cook now too, so giving them a cooking doesn't hurt too much. All right, very good growth medium. Very good growth, mate. I love it, I love it. Okay, we have seven components. I'm not sure what my like highest, highest priority is right now, but I'm thinking that, uh, oh, it's in here, psychic bond. Wait, what? This person has a psychic bond and then a person based on psychic bonding gene. Pain, 50%. Consciousness, plus 15. Whoa, I didn't know it did that as well. So it makes them happy, but it also improves their consciousness and lowers pain. What the? Oh my god, that psychic bonding thing is excellent. Oh, I don't regret bonding them to Kiwi Girl and, and forcefully recruiting them. That's excellent. Wow. You can only bond to one person, right? Yeah, it's a permanent bond to one person. And I mean, there's a pretty big drawback. If one of them ever dies, the other one goes insane. So <laughs> there's a decent drawback there. Is our auto cannon turret is up and done too. Excellent. Let's do a uh, rock and or roll festival. 86. We've got a lot of people attending, which I think will help. All right. It's been a while. Kiwi Gal is putting on a celebration in celebration of her new uh, her new lover. <laughs> gunch, gunch, gunk, gunk, gunch, gunk. Time for the rock and or roll festival. The music is so low key. <laughs> Have you all seen how beautiful Spectral is? <laughs> and he's all mine! <laughs> he's all mine! Hold on, come to the party, mate. You can come to the party. You can go to the party. Okay, don't go to the party. Sorry, mate, you missed out. <laughs> A boring rock and or roll. No! <laughs> Maybe if they played some actual music. <laughs> 